Hi, this is Craig from DiviThemeExamples.com and today we're going to have a look at using a plugin to add Google Fonts to your Divi theme. There are other options for adding Google Fonts um, which will be in the post which is linked below the video. Okay, so for this test we're going to be having a look at Easy Google Fonts which adds Google Fonts to any theme without coding and integrates with WordPress Customizer automatically for real-time live preview. You can see it's got 145 five stars, over 200,000 active installs, and it was updated just a month ago. So it's a popular plugin, and it's going to be well supported. Okay, so to use it, you're going to go to plugins. Add new, and we're going to look for easy Google fonts. And you can see it's here. So we're going to hit install now. We're going to activate the plugin. And we're done there. So we have a test page here. This is the front end. So this is the title. If you go into your theme customizer, Now, Divi comes with a number of Google fonts already. So you can see here, I think there's 90 something. But if the Google font isn't there, then you'd have to use a different method to import it. So if we go back to the main Divi um, customizer, you can see there's a typography tab here, and this is basically what the Easy Google, Google Fonts plugin has added. So if you click on here, you can see you can now edit all the different elements, so paragraphs and headings. So we're going to go to font family we're going to change this paragraph here so it has standard web fonts first and then google serif fonts and you can see it's got all of the google fonts so there's a huge amount to choose from google sans serif and Google handwriting so we're going to go with one of these we're going to go for Alex brush there you go and you can see it's changed here and you can also okay so there's no different weights for this one but you can also if you click on the next tab you can change the color You can change the background color, you can change the font size, you can change the line height. So you see it's it's um, the design by elegant themes powered by WordPress is within a P tag as well, so that's why this one has changed as well. So that's basically how you can add your Google Fonts. Now, so this one is a H1. Okay, so H3. This is H3 title. So we'll change this one. So there's no preview. So you probably 
going to spend a lot of time just playing around. <coughs> anyway, but that is how you can add Google Fonts to your website. So once you save and publish, then these font changes will stick. So say you wanted to customize a different element, not the paragraph or h1 to h6. Say you wanted to edit these blog, um, I mean side sidebar titles. So you could go to inspect to get the CSS class for these and it's called widget title so we'll grab the class so the widget title is each of these and if we go into plugins we have settings and Google fonts so we're going to add Uh, we're going to add uh, what's it called widgets we're going to call this control widgets titles okay and the CSS selector is what we just copied there so it's you have to add the dot so it's dot widget title <coughs> And we're going to save font control. So now, if we go back into our test page, go back into the theme customizer, and back into the typography, and go to theme typography. Oh yeah, so so here it says widgets titles, and that's what we've just added. So we're going to go in and change to this. I guess we want something so you can just see. So you can see that these titles are now all changing. I guess the problem sometimes becomes you have too much choice. So anyway, so we've picked basic. And again, you can change the font colors, the background, change the font size, save and publish. And you can basically do that with any element on the page you can target each class individually using the um, font controls and that is how easy Google fonts works <laughs>